Welcome, welcome to the um, Windows and Computer channel. <clears throat> and uh, we'll address a second option that might be happening. So, of course, the first video, uh, I was explaining how the November 2019 update is now available to seekers. So what you do is you go to Windows Updates. And the Windows Update, you check for updates, you will see uh, what is called the 1909 feature update available. Um, now, if you don't see it, what do you do? And here's the thing. If you don't see it, it's because there's probably a compatibility issue with your computer. So if you don't see the November 2019 update when you go to Windows Update right now, the uh, <clears throat> best thing to do is to wait because you will... Uh, yet there's something that's just not right now. Most of the times, it's really, really nothing much. You know, it could be your antivirus if you're using a third-party antivirus. It could be just a driver that's not updated on your PC. <clears throat> but uh, like in the past, you know, we talked about the fact that you can, uh, you know, force upgrade, and we'll show you how to download an image and everything, and you can do that. And the majority of you that do it are actually okay. You're, you're going to work with the new version and it's going to be fine. But uh, like we've learned over the past uh, updates, don't force it. Wait for it to happen. There's really no rush. And especially with this update, that doesn't have a lot to offer in terms of new features, really. It's mostly a service pack, kind of a big bug fixing and, and updating of the May 2019 update. So if you don't see it with Windows Update, just wait, okay? There's no rush. It's eventually going to show up. Um, you know, showing it to seekers means that also they're not really pushing it very hard today. They're just telling you, well, if you want to check, it might be there, and you might want to install it, but you don't have to. And if you don't check for updates manually, uh, what's going to happen is that you will not know that it's there. It's probably going to show up and say, well, you know, you got an optional update. Because this is optional, once again. You don't have to install it. And if you're on the May 2019 update and it works fine and you're, you're telling yourself, well, I'm not sure I want to upgrade right now. I want to wait. Uh, yeah, just wait. No problem. And uh, this is, even if, it, if you check Windows Update, it's just going to be there in the optional installs it's not going to force itself on you that's the new way of upgrading but once again if you don't see it just be patient and eventually it's going to show up it means something is just not right or not compatible in your computer if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching